Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. And today's topic is gonna be about how to install WSL and how to use Python in Visual Studio Code with the WSL plugin. So I have opened up PowerShell. Uh, you can open this in the search bar by searching up PowerShell and then opening up this command prompt looking uh, application in Windows. And in the WSL, sorry, PowerShell, we can install WSL by doing WSL. Uh, and then install with double hyphens. And this is going to install the Ubuntu distribution of WSL. Uh, in the case that we want to install some other ones, we can also do uh, to list the other distributions that are available. We could do dash dash list and then and then dash dash online. Then we can see here uh, the list of distributions that are available. And the install, uh, this by default installs the Ubuntu distribution, but um, if in case we want to install a Debian or like a Kali Linux, then we just do WSL install and then uh, specify the name of the the uh, distribution. For this purpose, I'll be installing Ubuntu. Uh, not sure what happened there when I pressed enter this came up. So let's enter the new Unix username uh, 
Uh, I'm going to call it subatomics. And it's going to ask for the password. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enter the new password. And there we have it. This is our new WSL system booted up. And we can do small commands like ls and cd just to make sure it's working. Let's create a directory called main. Let's create a main.py file. Let's put in a variable here in vim and finally let's print x and then let's save this now let's open up visual studio code Uh, in Visual Studio Code, let's install the plugin, uh, which is the WSL plugin. Uh, so this plugin should allow Visual Studio Code to open up the WSL. So if we go into the Remote Explorer tab, uh, this is going to open up the available targets. Uh, another method to open up the WSL is using Control Shift and P. And it's going to say new WSL window uh, to open up the WSL. I'm going to use this method. So as we can see here, we're in the home directory. Uh, inside there is a subatomics. And here are the main folder and the main .py uh, file, Python file that we created. And this terminal is displayed below Visual Studio Code. And on the side here, we're also able to explore it using the Explorer tab. Uh, we can see main here and also the pi main.py file. Uh, something else that we could do is run the Python uh, 3. Let's see if it's installed. So some distributions have this already installed, Python 3. And if Python 3 is not recognized inside the Linux, a way to install it is sudo apt get installed and then python3. Uh, if we want to install a particular version of python, then we could do 0.9 or 0.8, uh, depending on whatever version that we are looking for. And I won't be running this command as it is already installed. And a way to run the code in the terminal is Python 3, and then we run the main.py. Now we can see here that the output of the print statement up here is being printed. Uh, we can also do change the program. Uh, and do something like this and let's print out Y now and then we can print it out again mm, 
now it's printing out 3 which is the y 2 plus 1 is 3 which is stored in y and then we're printing y uh, another useful extension is the python extension which is available in the extension uh, tab we can install it for WSL So the extension has been installed now and if we go to the main.py file we're able to see the play button here and this play button when pressed will use the terminal to run the command uh, bin python home and then main.py and this also out, outputs three. So there's two ways to run the Python file. And there's also debugging, uh, which is available beside the play button. And we can debug the Python file. Uh, we can also place in uh, breakpoints whenever we want and this is the play this is the step over step into and so on and on the side here we can view the variables x x has a variable of 1 y has a value of 3 and and it also shows the globals versus the locals so there you have it, a quick tutorial of how to install WSL for Windows and to use the WSL plugin using Visual Studio to be able to run the Python using the Python plugin or using the terminal. Uh, hope this video helped you in any way or form. Uh, subscribe to the channel um, I'll be putting up more videos uh, in terms of Python beginners course and uh, thanks again